The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! This is Mick Shots, streaming live on DallasCowboys.com and the official Dallas Cowboys app. Now, here are Bill Jones, Everson Walls, and Mickey Spagnola. <laughs> well, here we are. It's a Wednesday edition of Mick Shots inside the SWBC podcast studio here at Ford Center at the Star in Frisco. And there's so much to talk about. And where oh, where do we start, Mickey Spagnola? Where, where would you, you like to start, Bill? Mm-hmm. The Cowboys are back at practice indoors, indoors. by the way, and a shorter practice yes. because they're getting ready for an uncommon opponent. And they wanted Mike wanted the team to watch more film. I thought it was because they had a Sunday night game that was part of it. Okay, and they got back late, so he come on to keep him off his feet. Uh, off their feet a little bit longer, but it was going to be a shorter no, practice No, you said it today. right the first time. Keep them off his feet. You're talking yeah, his about feet Dak. Yeah, and that's Dak, exactly yeah. what <laughs> Well, somebody, somebody asked him about Dak, and he said, well, he'll be limited, but this is going to be a limited practice. So if he's limited in a limited practice, he's probably full. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's limited. Today. So everybody's there limited you go. today. So he's 100% yeah. limited. So there he was out there doing all the same stuff he's been doing Looking fine, uh, taking – and this time, instead of continuing to do his rehab stuff, he was over with the quarterbacks and the centers taking their pre-practice snaps, and he was working with Beatish, so that as showed – ah, As he would have sign. done if nothing if was he was going to play. Oh, exactly. There's exactly. the sign. So right there. there's the sign right <laughs> there, right? He's Status get, quo. That's what we want. He's going to get quo. through this limited practice and be a full go tomorrow <laughs> yes. for a full practice. Absolutely. Okay, so we've solved that riddle. Now, what other riddle would you like to address? I don't know. Wait a minute. Hold on, guys. You know they're sneaky now. They were very sneaky last week. So <laughs> You still, are convinced. Yeah, I, yeah my, my feelings are hurt because I wasn't in on everything last week. <laughs> well, I'll yeah. tell you and Spags, what. Spags, you should have told me, man, because I know you were in they on They got to feel very good about how it turned out, and I don't think they want to push the envelope I any you, further. I hear you. Okay, so next riddle. What about left tackle? Well, now all we could see them do uh, was their little position drills, and they were doing this uh, half a line most of the time. So it was three guys against two guys and a linebacker. They would um, act like they were the linebacker, right? So when they had the three-man little deal out there passing guys off, there was a center – Biotish. Uh-huh. There was a guard, Martin, and there was a tackle, Lael Collins. Uh-huh. <clears throat> On the right-hand side okay. of the so center. Of the center. Okay. okay. Yes. Right. So that's the way they were doing that drill. Now, okay. I'm not saying when they get in the team, that's the way they're going to line up. But Could you one, see the left wing? But at one point, but at one point, they had that's five. That's all I want to hear after that. You know, <laughs> I, I had to set you up. Okay, you yeah, can't, you know, sir, you yeah. can't tell the end right away. Yes, you got to come. We got 45 minutes it. to fill here. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> just before they chased us out, they did have a five-man line out there, uh-huh. and Terrence Steele was to the left. Mm. Hmm. So what did you hear yesterday here on Mix Shots? That that's probably what they would that's do exactly because right. Terrence Steele took <laughs> snaps in training camp at left tackle. Yes. And Ty Naseki was standing off to the side watching. And as far as I remember back, the last time Lyle Collins lined up as a left tackle was LSU. I would think so. So So where was Tyron Smith uh, doing this? He did not practice, and as Mike said, Tyron, he'd be hard-pressed to play this week. Really? Yes. So hmm. the bone spur must be a significant spur. You know, I don't, I don't feel threatened by that at all. I don't. I think this team is starting to look, look at the long haul, you know? Or did you just look at the Broncos' depth chart and their edge rushers? I, I don't care who it is. Okay. I'm not going to lie. We know they don't have Von Miller anymore. I don't, I don't care. Bradley I'm not Chubb lie. has not been there for I'm, I'm a long time. I can lie. look it up for you I, if you I want. I don't care really. who it is. Uh, and that's why I was here. This team 
is starting to look long term and um, almost just automatically. And only because we have that that luxury to do that, because of the talent that we have, because of the depth that we have. I think this is the moment where, you know how you run, they say it's a marathon, it's not a sprint, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I'm looking at this season, it's not a marathon. Your career will be a marathon, mm-hmm. you know. I'm talking about, this is like a, this is like a 400. It's 400 meters. My dad used to say, if you can go 400 at that time, if you can go 440 yards, when he told me this, mm-hmm. he said, you can do anything in the world. That's what he told me. So you see the pace that you run in the 400. That's what this season is. Started off strong, first 150. Now we're going to kind of just kind of cruise, not just kind of like flatline it. You know what I mean? Just flat road it. Just flat road it. Right now we're not, you know, we're not trying to blow everyone out. We're trying to, I think we're trying to see how – we're reacting to so many different scenarios. I think we're testing ourselves as we go along to see what scenarios will work best for us. Here's what gives me confidence going forward, if indeed they go that way, is that Monday when Mike talked about left tackle or tackle, whatever they might do, he said, well, we've got options. Uh, Basically, I'm not telling you, but a lot (laughs) will depend on game planning. So to me, he's – and this is what gives you confidence. They have made the necessary moves to compensate for guys' absences. That's right. They haven't just told somebody, okay, go in and do what Tyron does Mm -hmm. or go in and do what Lael does. They've game-planned using their resources – to compensate for maybe a lack of talent at that spot because you got somebody else stepping in. And and I think last year in that regard was the only blessing about it. Because it's because we went through so much crap. And we still, learned so many lessons. Still paid a heavy price for having to play as an inexperienced starting tackle in the National Football League. That he probably had no business yeah. in there, right? But out of necessity and he grew up. Let's look at it from a team standpoint. Defensively, it was the best thing that happened because now we realize all those mistakes that we made, we're not making the same mistakes. We are learning from them, not just as individuals, but just as a team overall. You, you know, that's, that, to me, that's a sign of maturity. Don't that's come in here and think you're going to reinvent the wheel in one offseason. There was no offseason and barely a training camp right. and no preseason. But then you're going to do all of this exotic stuff on defense – and and once again, uh, you know, credit where credit is due, I guess. You know, as the as the second half of the season went down, defense actually started to get better. Yes. You know, guys started to learn what was going on. So you kind of use that as momentum coming into this season. That's the only reason last season to me was, you know, uh, a little bit important, you know, for us. See, you need to you need to preach to the folks out there because I think there's a lot of fans out there, might be people listening to us, I don't know, that are are they want to get excited about this team, but they're hesitant because they're scared. Yeah. And it's like, okay, it's seven games in now, and we've seen some evidence that this thing could be pretty good. Yeah. But what you gotta remember is just enjoy the journey. Don't keep looking at the end. Right. Right? Oh, they're not gonna win the Super Bowl. Right. How right, about just, right. you know, let's win the East first. Yes. Win a playoff game. Yes. Maybe two. Yes. And then see what happens. But don't start looking at the end because you're scared and, and right that, now. That's that's what I mean. That's what I mean. We're, we're just flat we should just flat road it now. Keep your head down keep, and yes, keep yes, just no, keep grinding. Keep grinding. And you're not trying like I said, you're not trying to just blow everyone out. You're only playing to your potential each week. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Understand that you have a long season to go to where you can still get better, but just at a proper pace. That's all it is. Because it's all about timing going to the playoffs. It really is. It's all about timing. That's why I want everyone to be shored up. And it kind of seems like we have that luxury this year. And in the NFL, uh, when you have a good team, a contending type team, there are going to be some blowouts along the way. 
but just as easily those blowout wins, they could just as easily be a coin flip game too. You just you, you don't go. know. It just kind of depends know we on know the way the ball you know bounces. We know that. Yes. And yes. and it's overcoming uh, obstacles along the way that makes the journey fun uh, to to watch it on a week to week basis. I mean, the last two weeks are two great cases in point. Each one of those games could have gone the other way, That's and true. we'd be uh, sitting here four and three instead of six and one well, if they had gone the other Cooper, way. Cooper doesn't get that, that right. Pass. I mean, there, yeah. we can point to specific sure plays sure in both of those games that had that not happened, or if that uh, whatever you know that that it the could previous, have gone the other way. The, the two previous years that that would have totally been a, another. But, so, what, but what's fun about it is they put together a roster to be able to offset uh, losses so far. That's right. You know, right, and I. And I think this was the kind of the message Mike was given. Uh, I don't know if it was the team, but somebody asked him about his te- about the team, where they're at, you know, what his feelings are. And he said, and I'm paraphrasing because I wrote this down as he was speaking. He said, "We're winning different ways, getting over the adversity hump, That's right. more confidence after the last That's two right. games." Because there was different things they had to deal with, right? You know what he's talking about? The freaking mojo moment. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. That's what it is. Because that every time that we do make a mistake, somehow we answer to where that mistake is minimized. And then it keeps us in a game in striking uh, uh, conditions that, like like the Patriots game, it kept us in striking position. Even when it came to the uh, the, the Chargers game, as you go on on the road, that did. A, I really thought that did a whole lot for us. Casey's interception in the end zone, to me, that right there, that was one of those. You know how you hit a crossroad in a lot of in a lot of decision making, mm-hmm. where things could have happened one way or the other. That was just like their first crossroad because if he he makes that interception, if he doesn't make that interception, then we'll, we probably lose that ball game. How about how about the image of the head coach right now compared to a year ago? Oh yeah, when when uh, a year ago, <laughs> a month ago, right? <laughs> but what's what does he do? Yeah, and and well, and on the heels of a year ago, yeah. where this crazy guy's going for it on fourth down, right. they're running these fake punts and all this stuff, you know, and uh, it just take. Last game, for instance, uh, Randy Gregory, the plays on the sideline. It just the the, the camera just catch, captures McCarthy on the sideline saying something. I have yeah. no idea what he yeah, said yeah. to to Gregory after the late hits. You know, yeah. on that possession, yeah. BS late hits. All right, and I bet he said that. Yeah, uh, just that, keep playing. That's what he right. said. Keep playing with he, your it aggressive way. It did not way. look like it was a scalding yeah. at all. All right, the, yeah. the mojo moments that we chronicled. That's you know, right. and and now those you can see those mojo moments. Right. Oh, what genius! I mean, they That's worked right. on that every single day. <laughs> all right, it was on hard knocks. Think about think about. Uh, what is some of the things Jimmy's remembered about uh, is cutting players? Yeah. John yeah. Roper falls asleep in a team meeting. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy, All he's not going to put up with that. But what would he do if it was Michael or Emmett who fell asleep in the meeting, Mickey? <laughs> told told the guys, just let him sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, the hey, Kervin Richards? Up. Okay. All right. Go. Last regular season Christmas game, time, 1992. Bro. Yes. Christmas. No, the season was twice. over. Christmas. He fumbles. Well, it was the last game the of last the game. season. <laughs> and and uh, he fumbles twice in the fourth quarter of a blowout game. And Jimmy was so upset after that game. And the next day, he cuts Kervin Richards. And all they had at the running back position going into the playoffs in 92 was Emmett Smith, Daryl Johnston, and Tommy Agee. And Jimmy said, nope, we, I can't trust this Kervin Richards. It was a Fourth round draft pick the year before, by the way. Yeah, and and so Tommy Agee, if something happens to Emmett, Tommy Agee's my running back going into the Philadelphia game in the playoffs. Hey, okay, don't, so don't now stop fast with, forward. Don't stop with those guys, so, though. So, go back to Landry too. Now yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you I can go. pick out some stuff. But yeah. you go ahead. Right. And finish. So now, <laughs> fast forward to yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Not Bradley, quite the Brad, same. Bradley and I, okay, Bradley and I, 36 hours <laughs> after he jumped off sides <laughs> right. on a punt, okay, right. yeah. that gave new life to the Vikings. They went yeah. down and kicked a field goal to take a 10-3 yeah. lead in the game. Yeah. What did Jimmy do on Tuesday afternoon? <laughs> he cut that Bradley and I, didn't he, Mickey? <laughs> <laughs> Except if he clears waivers, they'll probably put him on the practice oh, squad. Man. Probably put him on the well, practice I gotta squad. Well, I got to say, uh, well, that, was, that was a scalding. 
<laughs> when he came over, that was well, a no, that, that was, was the other thing. The yeah. camera caught McCarthy. Yeah, right. That was a different So now everybody's going to say, you see that McCarthy? Yeah. Boy, he's got in charge <laughs> he's of this team. That, he's, he's not taking any of this. He's, he's gaining that Jimmy reputation, you know? when <laughs> He should have scolded but, but the you, referee. You need, to, you need to know, right. Because It was a five-yard penalty, and he got five and a half. You need to know when to do it, Spag. Yeah. It was pro- he did it just the right way. That was your fault, and I okay, you blew that. Come on now, don't be an idiot. Yeah. In this regard, hey man, I don't know what the heck's going on with those referees. Go out there and keep balling. Boom, How does that go. happen? Mm. Five yards is five yards, not five and a half. And, and, and so all of that was understood. That was inferred during their conversation. Uh-huh. We all know it's BS. Get your butt out there and keep on balling. Yeah. That's it. And the and point is, the point is, well, he, the point he is, he was not cut because he jumped off right. sides. And 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 the point is that they he was probably not, they probably have three bringing him back. I mean, they, they have three moves. They have boy, to make. that's kind right. of timely. He just yeah. And Do you so, think it like felt a little good or something when but, they did? But, but just if, a little. But if Jimmy was coaching the team, <laughs> he would have everybody. Made made it oh, Jimmy, he's right. not going to put up with that. Because if you think about it, <laughs> he he basically hey, said, wait, "Wait, stop." Before we take a break, <laughs> did you guys see Fox Fox uh, post game this weekend? Um, was after it, the Cowboys after, game? After, after no, Jimmy after or? after the oh, after, uh, the, after the, the noon game. After the noon game, I, don't I recall. think I turned. Uh, dude, Jimmy is still beating me down about us getting into it. After the no the, way, bro, he brought it up again. <laughs> how, how did he transition? I know that? they were talking about how sorry a team was playing. I think because uh, I think Detroit was playing or something, yeah, and they looked so bad. They quit. So he compared it. Oh, I just had a great player. Every so long, I had to tell him, and he was just useless. Oh, will you shut up, Jimmy? Oh my goodness, <laughs> just beating a dead horse. You know, first of all, tell the entire story. Number one. Second of all, <laughs> shut the hell up with that dude. He he's, he puts that in his mouth. Motivational speeches. I need a cut. You know what I'm saying? Give me some. He's brought it up twice on that same show. And I'm thinking to myself, you made the Hall of Fame. Can you not block me a little bit? Can you give me some love? I mean, goodness gracious. I had to bring that up, guys. That just got to me. Like, boy, he brought it up. I knew it was coming. I'm sitting there minding my own business. You know, not worried about anything till tonight. You know, I'm trying. I'm, I know I'm going to be nervous watching the game, and I just I felt it. I knew, <laughs> I knew he was going to say, "Yeah, that's just like a, I got, had this great player." Oh, here we go. But but at but, least he said you had a great player. Yeah, that's he just started saying that. <laughs> <laughs> now that as, 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 he, as he douses my Hall of Fame. Uh, yeah. Uh, now that Belichick <laughs> says you belong in the Hall of right, Fame. Right, right. He had to kind yeah, of balance yeah. the yeah that yin and yang <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, story of my life. But it, but the. <laughs> Narrative this week, if Jimmy were coaching this team, is he doesn't care. He's getting the attention of this team. They're six yeah. and one. They can't start feeling good about themselves because, by golly, if you yeah. jump off sides on a punt, he's going to cut you on Tuesday. Yeah, right. Right. If if it was if it was if it, if it was Zach Martin jumping off sides, <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll, we'll pick up third and ten instead of third and five, right? Well, I think he would. I think he would definitely curse and have those same words. But Zach would be. On the field, as he said, he right. wouldn't be. He wouldn't even hear it, it to right? him. Yeah. Right. So here's the bottom line. I was going to say, and then we can go to break. Uh, when they asked about, when he was asked about Michael Gallup, talked about he can do more this yes. week, yes. possibly play. Yes. He said, "I hope so. We'll see. Uh, see how the work goes this week. But if if he's coming back, uh, they they put Jabril Cox on IR." Uh, so they need another linebacker. Okay. So probably Francis Bernard, who started his IR return, <clears throat> and it looks like Sean McEwen is ready to come back. So they were going to need three spots. Okay. Well, they got three spots now, and and so for the rest of the guys that are coming back, the guys somebody's got to get cut, right? So don't be jumping off sides. <laughs> either, either don't jump off sides or make sure you pull a hamstring. <laughs> All right. Oh, so now you know the rest of the story. Mm-hmm. And more from Mickey's Legal Pad when Mick Shots continues in a moment. Honey, big news. Gary, are you okay? Oh, I'm not Gary anymore. I'm Jackie Flash. What? See, I want the latest smartphone, but the best deals are only for new customers. So to get a new customer deal, I changed my name to Jackie Flash. Okay, but the best smartphone deals at AT AT&T are for everyone, new and existing customers. 
That's huge. Then guess who's getting a deal? Is it Jackie Flash? Jackie Flash. It's not complicated. At AT AT&T, our best smartphone deals are for everyone. Restrictions apply. Visit att.com for details. The Cowboys way, where 16 Hall of Famers and five championships shows us what success looks like. Where turkey is always the second best part of Thanksgiving Day. Where we are all defined by one single thing, the star. Where we as fans know it's our job to keep the tradition going. Bank of America is proud to be the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys and to support the quest of living life the Cowboys way. Copyright 2020, Bank of America Corporation. Hey, Cowboys fans, ready to spice up your next watch party? Bring Yokiero guacamole and be the game day hero. Yokiero means I want, and we know you want, great, fresh-tasting, ready-to-serve guacamole for your home-gating and tailgating events. Made with real avocados and the perfect blend of spices, it will be the star of any party. You can find us at your local Albertsons or Tom Thumb in the deli section. If you can't find it, talk to your store manager and tell them, Yokiero, Yokiero guacamole. It's game day. You know what that means. First, kebab prep. Steak, pepper, onion, steak, pepper, onion. Next, a counterclockwise lap around the room. Now, the lucky grease-stained jersey goes on. And lastly, the dance. You know the one. This is a game day ritual no matter where you are. Whether you're traveling to the game or watching from your favorite vacation spot, book a place to stay on Hotels.com and keep the tradition alive and well. Hotels.com, proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Back, 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 to mixed shots. Celebrate Christmas at the Star with Cowboys Christmas Extravaganza, powered by Reliant. The 20-minute show <laughs> electrifies the Star in Frisco with a powerful mix of game day excitement and Christmas cheer every Friday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Starting November 19th through December 18th. Admission and parking are free. For more information, visit thestardistrict.com. For Reliant. Is that what you said? You want to just drag yeah, it out I, for drama <laughs> purposes? <laughs> for Reliant. When, when, when I was re- reading, I went back to the sentence I already had <laughs> read. That could be a problem. Yes. Hey. What? We'll move on. Okay. So, Gallup, once again. No surgery. Uh, no surgery. It was a calf Just muscle. Just a little calf. Okay. And so we'll And see. he was we'll – so d- the beginning of practice, Gallup, Zeke, and Dak were on the cords mm-hmm. with Britt doing their, mm-hmm. their basically resistance stuff. And then he finished early, and he was over with the wide receiver. So it looked like he was going through okay. all of practice. Okay. okay. I mentioned no Tyron in practice. Uh, Jarwin with a hip. Yeah. Uh, not in practice. No digs. No uh, digs. Digs was there. Okay. And I would imagine he was going to be limited. Uh, is and that as the I, same foot? Is that the same foot that's, that he's been uh, having the, the problem ankle. with? Ankle. Ankle? Yes. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, and then. Uh, what are the odds of that? He's trying to mm-hmm. make a tackle down low. <laughs> he's getting kicked mm-hmm. by the guy that he tried to tackle. And, and, yeah. and the thing that happened, and this was <laughs> funny, because when, when I told Nate that uh, Jarwin missed, he goes, I knew it. I knew it. He goes, they just threw a bad pass, and he got hit like that. He goes, that was the quarterback's fault. It kind of let him in. Remember yeah, our discussion yeah, about yeah, the DBs? So uh, so LC was dressed. Diggs was dressed. Tristan Hill was dressed uh, practicing. Uh, Joseph and, is still, still And Joseph is play. out there. So, yeah. Okay. And he played. Man, he looked good with that number on, didn't he? 24. Uh, looked, looked like it belonged, so It was right? too clean, though. He needs some dirt <laughs> on his well, two snaps. Special, special teams. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, he had two, what, two defensive snaps. And I think he had like 17 uh, special, special team snaps. Yeah. So if you look around the rest of the National Football League and you take a gander at the standings, especially in the NFC, you will find the Cowboys at 6-1, and one, leading the NFC East. You will find the Cardinals and the Rams at 7-1, and one, tied atop the NFC West. The Buccaneers have fallen to 6-2 and two now, atop the NFC South. And the Packers are at 7-1, and one, leading the NFC North. And the Packers have a matchup, uh, the marquee matchup in the league on Sunday against the Kansas, the Kansas City. City Chiefs. Well, I can't wait for 
Patrick Mahomes versus Aaron Rodgers. Isn't that going to be no, great? Not that anymore. would be oh. some guy named yeah. Love, yeah. I think. Oh, Jordan Love? Yeah. Yes, versus sir. Patrick Mahomes. Because he's, so, been, he's been immune, immunized, but not immu- vaccinated. Yeah, even immunized. Immunized. Yeah. immunized. But yeah. not vaccinated. <laughs> right, right. What was play, he immunized? No play on words there, you know. What was he immunized But you know what's against? so funny? How he just got the benefit of the doubt just because yes. of Aaron Rodgers. Yes, you know, You guys are horrible, man. You know, y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all really just stop, man. Y'all never let us get away with that back in the 90s and 80s. Now all of a sudden, oh, just because he's Aaron Rodgers, he's amazing and he's so good and he can just say anything he wants. You're like, okay, dude, thank you there, Aaron. <laughs> now, he goes, he, he goes, now he goes along and everyone starts – Thinking back, hey, that is an odd word that he used, isn't it? I mean, you just finally remember that? They asked him that this summer. Right. And you guys are just now on to it. I mean, come on, man. Stop being so goo goo gaga over this guy, man. Come <laughs> was, on. Was he immunized against chicken pox? <laughs> right. I don't know what that means, you know. Did he drink something? You know, what Well, was evidently, it? he did something and he wanted the NFL to qualify that as getting vaccinated. It, it's a, yeah, like he tried to create yeah, form some of, sort of. He tried to create his own narrative. Let's just. Yeah. Yeah, that's all he did. Yeah, and y'all fell for it. So you're thinking the Cowboys, <laughs> these uh, guys at the top that they've been chasing, maybe one by okay. one. Or? Well, the Cardinals lost last week. Yes. Okay, and so they fell to the Packers, who, by the way, they were one of the reasons the – uh, Packers had to run the ball so much against the Cardinals was because COVID had hit their team and Devontae Adams and um, uh, Lazard was uh, a close contact. He couldn't play in that game. Uh, their defensive coordinator was out as well in COVID protocol. And so uh, so they now said, here – They said the Packers may have some more so, uh, coming up and so, as well. So now you got the Packers playing a game against a Chiefs team that has struggled, but – They now don't have their quarterback going up against Mahomes, so this can impact the Cowboys in the yes in the uh, as we look ahead two months to a playoff scenario. As long as you take care of your own business, we got to start thinking long term. We Mm got to start thinking to where we have that timing just right to where we hit the ground running. Did the Rams have a tough game coming up? They they're in the West, so yeah, that's. A given, I think. <laughs> they uh, week nine. This is week nine. The they Ram- play Tennessee. Rams That's play right. the Titans, but they don't have Derrick no, Henry no, anymore. Yes. They do have Adrian. They Peterson. got Adrian Peterson by golly. So I wonder if Adrian Peterson will be ready to go. Man, he's from within. Texas. He's from Texas. Come uh-huh. on, Bill. You know it, baby. He's from Texas. He's East Texas. Ready to go, baby. East Texas. That's right. Yeah. Even better. That's right. That's where my people from. I'm talking. That about. is the Sunday night game: the Rams yes. and the Titans. So, so interesting. But, again, take care of yourself. Another thing that I saw in regards to the rest of the league, uh, the top MVP candidates in the NFC, or the, in the NFL, I guess, mm-hmm. MVP candidates, who would, who would be your top three? In the NFC or the NFL? Uh, NF, let's go NFL. Top three. I know who my, my first one is. Well, would that? I Brady mean, be my first one. Okay. Yeah. Derrick Henry would probably be up there. Mm-hmm. But not now. But, well, Gone. at this point, no, you just, said up to yeah, this point. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Not, odds. you got to be on the field. Oh, odds, odds to win forward. the MVP. Oh, okay. All right, let me find it on here. Did 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 – did the Cowboys winning without Dak re- <laughs> help or hurt reduce him? <laughs> his qualifications? Uh, let's see here. And Where you also got to say who's coming up with this. MVP list. odds. This is from Vegas. <laughs> this is from your favorite source. Oh. No. <laughs> What's your favorite source? PFF. Your, from PFF. <laughs> Who's PFF? Pro football, football focus. Fo- okay, okay. Okay. Pro football focus. Is Matthew Stafford your MVP favorite? I was going to say, you got to put Matthew He's right up there. there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's right up there. Matthew. Anyway, they the three that they have, which I retweeted with a hashtag Dallas, Matthew Stafford, 49%. Dak Prescott, 12%. Kyler Murray, 11%. No Brady. Two, two from Dallas, and one who plays in Dallas. No Brady. 
two from Dallas and one who plays in mm-hmm. Dallas. Very good, Bill. Yeah. So oh. Aaron Rodgers wasn't in that. He was t- not, no not in the discussion. What, well, because no Green Bay's so good that he's not yeah. carrying that team? That's t- according to Pro Football Focus, your favorite entity. So wait, wait, no Brady. I guess that's the way they've graded it. I don't know. I don't understand how you can grade that. I mean, I don't know. I, I, just, I, don't, I, never, like, I never like giving Brady too much credit, but dang, he's he's balling. Now you know you why know? I said PFF. <laughs> yeah, he's he's balling. Uh, someone replied, got, that's like, weird because Josh Allen is the betting favorite. The, uh, apparently the betting favorites are Josh Allen, Kyler Murray, Dak Prescott, Tom Brady, Matthew Stafford, Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Josh Jackson. Allen, I, I'd, I'd put him at the bottom of that list, which is still a great list, but I'd put him at the bottom of it. Anyway. Oh, you just brought the house down. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. Yes, it was yeah. because of the Dallas connections. That's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yep. All right. What else is in your legal pad? Uh, let's see. Oh, with um, I was talking about guys that they might have to activate this week, make room for them. With Jarwin, depending on his hip, they need another tight end. So I would think if McEwen is ready, uh, then there's your tight end. You got to bring him up, and that. But they've got three spots: so linebacker, tight end. Um, and wide receiver, that would be three spots. I'd love to see Jarwin start kind of getting back into his rhythm. Yeah, that was too bad. Yeah. Because he was starting, it, it looked like it. And he, he, I mean, there were a couple passes he was open. Yeah. He, he missed them. Yeah. He was high or mm-hmm. wide or mm-hmm. behind, whatever it was. Uh, but he was open down the field. So what's going on with him, Jarwin? A hip. Hip. He's out? He's not going to practice today. So we'll see what happens going okay. forward. He'll be okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, there's only so many balls to go around. Too. That's true. That's true. You got to you, you know you're going up against a Broncos team this week that uh, coached by Vic Fangio. Uh, and have you seen where they rank in on defense? Scoring defense. Denver. De- yes. Uh, Number two in the league scoring defense. Hmm. I saw that. Mm-hmm. Well, defense is not their problem. Hmm. Their problem has been offense. Mm-hmm. Now, you talked about the missing they, their two edge rushers. They've had Chubbs been out almost all of the season. Well, now, now Miller missed last week and now he's Tell trading. me if you guys have heard of this. Malik These Reed. Guys. So they're listing their strong side linebacker and weak side linebacker because they play a 3-4. Mm-hmm. Uh, the starter on the weak side is Malik Reed, backed up by Aaron Patrick. Um and then on the strong side, it's Jonathan Cooper, backed up by Stephen Weatherly. Weatherly, they just traded for here in the last week. He played his first game this past week. All right. And Cooper is a rookie. Rookie. Seventh round draft pick out of Ohio State. And they just played Baron Browning for the first time all year on defense. And they've in their got last him game. listed as their starter, in, one of their starting inside linebackers. He's, he's a third round pick from Ohio State out of Kennedale, Baron right. Browning. And the other starting inside linebacker is Justin. Yeah, I'll try that. <laughs> Sternad. I'm, I'm trying to we'll see. If, Sternad. I'm trying to see if it was a typo or what not. is the bunch of consonants? S, there's no two vowels. consonants. No, vowels. It's, it's, no uh, they're in the wrong order. It's, it's, it's strand misspelled. It's S T R A N or N A D. S T R N A D. So it's wow. strand, but they got the N and that's, the that's, A that's misplaced. That's Nordic, isn't it? Yeah. Is that kind of Nordic? Sternad. Sternod. Sternod. Yeah. Austrian, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Fifth round draft pick last year. So those now are Bradley so Chubb. We're going up against a lot of inexperience, basically. All right, Bradley Chubb, uh, first Out. round pick in 2018, fifth overall pick, has only played in one game. Mm-hmm. Is he? Is he hurt? I would assume. So. Those, when they went into the season, they're thinking we got Chubb on one side, we right. got Miller on the other side, yeah. and we're Chubb is fine. listed on injured reserve. There you go. Trying How about s- in their secondary? Uh, There's a very familiar name. Oh, Patrick Sustain. Uh huh. The second, who was actually playing pretty well, he's playing yeah, out very that's well. That's right. Right. Mm-hmm. That's right. But what would you rather have? 
the all-purpose linebacker or a corner. And we're going to well, discuss we that when we come back on <laughs> Mixed Shots in just a moment. <laughs> At Smoothie King, we are blending goodness to fuel your greatness. Every blend is crafted to help you achieve your health and fitness goals. Smoothie King uses only whole fruits and organic veggies. You'll never find sugary syrups or artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. And unlike some other smoothie places, there are zero grams of added sugar in many of our blends. Smoothie King is proud to be the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. Place your order in the app or online for pickup or delivery. Smoothie King, rule the day. Hey, Cowboys fans, ready to spice up your next watch party? Bring Yokiero guacamole and be the game day hero. Yokiero means I want, and we know you want great, fresh tasting, ready to serve guacamole for your home gating and tailgating events. Made with real avocados and the perfect blend of spices, it will be the star of any party. You can find us at your local Albertsons or Tom Thumb in the deli section. If you can't find it, talk to your store manager and tell them, Yokiero, Yokiero guacamole. The Cowboys way, where 16 Hall of Famers and five championships shows us what success looks like. Where turkey is always the second best part of Thanksgiving Day. Where we are all defined by one single thing, the star. Where we as fans know it's our job to keep the tradition going. Bank of America is proud to be the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys and to support the quest of living life the Cowboys way. Copyright 2020, Bank of America Corporation. Hi, I'm Clint Tillerson with United Ag and Turf. Before you can park yourself in front of the game, park yourself in a John Deere and power through your chores. Our Land Run package is a 1025R, 25 horsepower tractor with a loader, rotary cutter, and a box blade for $229 a month. And the price you see is the price you'll pay. No surprises. So don't miss another kickoff. Visit unitedagandturf.com. Offer ends February 1st, 2021. Restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Now let's get to work. Back, back, back to mixed shots. This holiday season, visit the star to get your photo, Everson, with Santa, presented by Monument Ooh. Realty. Santa Claus will be at his Cowboys themed cottage in the Star District across from Ascension on Star Boulevard from November 26th through December 24th before he has to get. To work. Uh, <laughs> for more information and book your photo, visit the stardistrict.com slash Santa. I'm gonna dye my hair for the picture. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, um, last time that the Milwaukee Bucks let's see. Let me backtrack. Won the yeah. NBA title. Okay. Yeah. I'm, uh, let's go with the Braves instead, because I haven't okay. done the exact research on it. The last time the Atlanta Braves mm-hmm. won a world championship was when? 1996. 1995? 1995 season. Five. Yeah. The last time. Oh, okay. <laughs> the last time the Dallas Cowboys won. I guess on the Bucks it was 71, which was like the first time – Right, they Cowboys won. Is this the fifty Super year Bowl. fifty year anniversary of that Super so, yeah. Bowl season? And this is well, it'd be twenty six on 26. the Cowboys. But all right, so the the last time the Bucks before this year, the last time the Bucks won was in seventy one, seventy two. In that right, and the Cowboys won a Super Bowl that year. And the last time the Braves won the World Series was mm-hmm. 1995, which is the last time the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. Mm, so do you symmetry. need any omens? So go celebrate right now. <laughs> Don't be afraid. <laughs> it's it's a given. Yeah, if Bill, me, says, it, if Bill thi- says it, it's, it's a deal. It's well, a done deal. What made me think of that was uh, Everson just showed me on Twitter a shot. I guess the Rangers tweeted it out, a picture of Ron Washington uh, basically congratulating him. And that's the ba- the way baseball his fa- goes. His famous, yeah, his yeah. famous quote. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, the former <laughs> manager. For those who don't live in Dallas, Fort Worth, or in Texas, he um, – need to look up his interview washes yes okay or, or just type it in it'll come up uh-huh. it was the goofiest thing i think i've ever <laughs> heard in my life um and, and what so, is he from 
Uh, New Louis- Orleans. New Orleans, yeah. No, he seems like he's from East Texas. No, he's Louisiana. Uh, is he? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. I have to have, hear that accent. He uh, yeah. evidently did the, the interview with a beer in one hand and a cigarette in the other. <laughs> <laughs> he's so old school, man. He is. I mean, come on. And, and they, they asked him something about, I guess it's some saying he had about what's the secret <laughs> to baseball or something. And it was something about elbows and asses. <laughs> <laughs> and, and all I heard was somebody talking about yes. it, right? Yes. Oh, here it is. And he ended up doing a dance for him or something. Oh, Lord. He was feeling no pain. This is after Ron game Washington the told the entire team months ago they would turn it around, jump into first, and win it all. Everyone will be looking at our ass and elbows. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds good to me. I guess that means you're dancing that's, or whatever. No, that means no. That, that means they'll be in front. They'll be uh, in front. Yeah, that's right. That means they'll be in front. Yeah. Have you elbows. ever, when you ran the 400 meters? Yes. Did, were you? Were you? In I front? saw everybody's <laughs> when, yeah. he, when he attempted to run, but he only made it to 200. That's what you mean. No, yes. I, Just think of that what? view that you had when you ran the 400 meters. They what made, were you seeing? They made me. They made me in junior high run the 800. Uh, and what were you seeing uh, in front of you? I, I beat <laughs> Cinder. That's when they had the Cinder tracks. He I had beat Cinder all in his face. I beat one guy. Oh man, he fell down. <laughs> <laughs> you tripped him. That's yeah. what. <laughs> you know, I, I, when I, we we would run 800 in practice, right? Right. And it's a pace thing. Yes. I got out there, and these guys are running. No, they're running, There bro. are no pace. No, even junior in practice, high. even in practice, that stuff, track practice is the worst so practice it's like, ever. Yeah, I got no shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just hoping they didn't lap me. If you can make it through a track season, then you are amazing. Got all these tall, skinny guys, oh, and here's a little short me it's with ridiculous. short legs. Too many whistles and too much too much cinder up in the 800. Okay, uh, so you asked this question before we went to break. Yes. Are you feeling good about the Cowboys' first-round draft pick or what they could have had if Patrick Sertan had fallen to them well, and supposedly Sertan was going to be the pick? All I know is he is the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He is. For 11 tackles and four of those for losses. Nice. And two, I think it was two quarterback pressures. He was all over the place. And, and, and you know what? And you know what the good thing about it was? He came out of the bye mad because he didn't make any critical plays, any splash plays against New England. Even yeah, though he wasn't very happy with his performance. Even though he had like nine tackles right, or right, seven right. tackles, something like that, and he wasn't yeah. happy with his no, performance. He was not happy at all. And so he said he rededicated himself. Took care of his body during the the bye week, and then started coming in at five five thirty in the morning so he could watch more tape before they got to practice. You know, you, you gotta you gotta you gotta know. Belichick probably designed some really complicated to, to blocking try to schemes, take advantage for, of him, which probably. Uh, allowed him to make those tackles, but not where he wanted to make right. them. He probably a lot of uh, track downs and, and tackles down the field. Right. Yeah. And this one, and and you know, and see, the, the, I don't know if the Vikings watched tape on him, mm-hmm. but getting him to I'm cover. I'm thinking they did. Get, get, well, I don't know. <laughs> he made right. 11 I'm tackles. I'm you, Spags. Hey, maybe they did, not the way he played. Because <laughs> the, the way teams had taken advantage of him at times was sending their running back out in the pattern, down the field, and he had to drop. <laughs> yeah. They were sending their running back out into the flat. And he all he had to do was go sideways. And that seems just that, like, that, that like he's thinking of Zimmer. You want to look at these guys? Or yes. Not? Yeah, yeah, we're we're good. Well, good. he's not Cowboys. the offensive yeah, coordinator. It's, 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 it's a His son is. Huh? But, but here's the his thing. His son is. No, he's not. Well, no, he's, he's he's listed. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Everyone, along, with, along with Patterson. Yeah. Everyone tries that against him. The Giants tried it when uh, Barkley messed up his foot. They lined him up out wide. That seems to be something that people are going to try. They're going to continue to try that, to try to catch him in space. It hadn't worked yet, though. Why are no. they doing that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Especially the sideways yeah, stuff because he's going to get there. He's closing the, the gap so quickly they don't even have a chance to use their angle they have on. He's one of those guys you want going forward. Yes. 
And he's one of those guys who wants to get to the football. Yes. I mean, he's he's racing his teammates to get to the tackle. Well, that stuff in, in preseason. <laughs> hey, and and they're, they're like, okay, let's race, right? <laughs> Everybody's there with, okay, uh-huh. we're going to race. Let's yeah. see who's second, who's third. That uh-huh. stuff That's in preseason like was yeah. no yeah. joke. Yeah. He said yeah. he wanted to make all the tackles. Yeah. You know, and Van Der Esch was kind of – Sticking it in the ribs, and, and, and like, don't think Van Der Esch is thinking. Well, no. hey, I want. He make probably too. beat Van Der Esch yeah. to about two or three tackles in there that game. There you go. Game. Well, all all the, it does is you cre- got the snap counts. Yeah, uh, I do. All it does is it just it just raises. I brought him. It raises the bar, Spags. It just raises. The, yeah, I do. The bar. That's well, he had does. 90, 97 snaps. I mean, ninety-seven percent. You meant in this Parsons past, did in yes. this past game. Yes, mm-hmm. Parsons. Um, let's see if I remember correctly. Micah Parsons. 64 snaps. Out of? Uh, 97%. 64. Out of 66. Curse had 66. 64 out of 73. Out of 73. Wilson. How's Wilson doing? Donovan? Yeah. Uh, He had 31 snaps, 47%. Hmm. How about Leighton? Van Der Esch 33. 50%. Well, because they were bringing him out on nickel, and, and Neil would go in. Okay. And I think Neil had – Just think Van Der used to be our most athletic linebacker. Actually, <laughs> Neil – I'm Parsons. thinking back to that Hall of yeah, Fame game Parsons. and Parsons is right. sitting there, I want to be out there, <laughs> right. and, and Leighton's sitting next to him and saying, oh, you'll learn. Right. You know, <laughs> Here Neil, it is like the last month, Parsons is getting twice the snaps. Right. <laughs> Neil only you'll had, learn. That's what Parsons Neil is only, <laughs> Neil only had 23 snaps, and that's because they were using a lot of – Two running backs. That, he's he's, and he's two had tight minimal ends. snaps in the last couple of right. weeks. Though. He's the nickel back. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then our man J. Ron Curse, by the way, what do they list him as? Um Baller. What? Football player. Where's he at? Oh, there it is. He had This is who? Two, three. Weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. Curse. Curse. One hundred percent. Wow. And which we didn't know, and I think somebody pointed it out. Green dot. He had the green dot on his helmet. He was he was relaying the plays in. If you listen to Christy Scales on the Cowboys Radio oh, Network, you, you would did? learn this oh. during the game. That's how good Christy Go Scales ahead, Christy. is. That's what I'm talking but, about. And, and then somebody said, well, well, is he better at making the calls? I go, you can make the calls. All you got to do is hear them right. and repeat them. Right. But he's in the he's out there every, every. play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to worry about the second helmet. So what happens when he gets hurt? If he gets well, hurt? then you put it in another. Is but that, you is have that a, simple. You Someone have else wears one. curses yes, helmet. You can do it that. Okay, no, no. that's what I was gonna say. I mean, is that you can easy? do it that quick. Yeah. J Rod has to pass his helmet on to someone right. else. And by the way, <laughs> no, it's like you trying. Y'all having a different size helmet. Come on, man. And they don't. Have, goes down. Here you go, Bill. Right. <laughs> like, oh hell no. Coach. I can't get it the helmet on. <laughs> and they don't have multiple helmets anymore. By the way, so when you see it's salute to service on Sunday. So they're going to have the red, white, and blue stripes I like on their those. helmet. I like those. It's the same helmet. They yes. just stripe them differently. I like those. It is more work. More work for, for Mike by McCord the way, and yeah. Bucky. I'm, I'm going to try to segue as smooth as Bill. We talk about helmets. Uh, we had the safety for the Vikings trying to rip. Harrison Smith. Harrison Smith trying to rip C.D. Lamb's. Uh, helmet off. I thought it was choking he the one him. that was choking him. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I, the Cowboys uh, are having the league look into that. Yeah, so well, they I better. Mean, yeah, because that was just exactly what I thought. Blatant. As it straight happened, straight up blatant. I, as it happened, I said he's choking him. That he needs to be fined. I mean, or by the way, see, flag for like, it, number yeah. one. And the officials <laughs> sitting right there. You go back and look at it. The, the officials talking to Harrison Smith right after it. He saw it. He was t- talking to him. You know, at him saying, don't do that. Well, throw your flag. Right. Hands to the neck? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, to... Hands to the face? Yeah, yeah. Just unnecessary roughness. <laughs> right. No, just ignorance. That's just, right. that, that, was a, right. that, was a, that was a, that was an assault. That's mm-hmm. what it is. And, and CD's talking about there's a, uh, you can, uh, the, uh, Mike on the sideline, CD's talking about it after the series. Okay. That. That he was trying to choke me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we saw it. <laughs> so they, and, but somehow they didn't see that, or half the holds trying to stop Randy Gregory from getting to the quarterback. 
<laughs> That's another one, by the way. Okay, we can discuss that. Going to have to bring my white tomorrow hat in. on a Thursday edition of Mix Shots. We will see you tomorrow at 1:30. Go Cowboys. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!